Hi there, welcome back or welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a very vintage e Christmas e thrift haul. So it's just a bunch of stuff I've picked up from the thrift store here in the last few days. It's all got a kind of a Christmas feel to them. Uh, I know it's a little bit late to be picking up things like this, but you know, there's always next year and it really just got me in the Christmas mood to go out and when I was finding all these things, I just, I just had to have them. <laughs> So I'm going to share those with you today. If you're from here, I went to Grace's Closet, uh, Aunt B's, um, Vendor's Mall, and the new little thrift, antique thrift store that is up by the Dollar General in Macon. So let's go ahead and get started. So first, I want to share with you these two adorable picture frames. Um, and I'll start by saying I'm at a point in my life where um, I'm not old, <laughs> I'm 34, uh, but I'm, you know, thinking about future, the future, and I have a daughter, and things that I want to pass on, or, you know, if you have grandparents, parents, uh, you remember certain little decorations and things in their home, or things they always had out the holidays that you would maybe like to have when that time comes and these are these are kind of those things to me things that are kind of a little bit kitschy a little bit you know not super modern or anything like that but something that my baby or maybe her children one day will remember from my home and what to have so just a little explanation this is that's where I'm at in life I think about those things a lot when I'm out shopping so the first is this adorable picture frame how cute is he? It's a little snowman. And, you know, I'll put, um, I actually have some vintage pictures of my husband that um, we got this year from when he was with Santa Claus. Um, I might see if that'll fit in here. And I think that is something that she would like to have, my daughter would like to have when she gets older. You know, I just think it's cute. Or a picture of her, of course. Um, but then I also found this one. It's a little bit tacky again. It's kitschy. Uh, it's very vintage feeling. But I just said that I had to have it. It's a little bit bigger. Look at all those details. These little angels like move. Um, and you got the little chair, the rocking horse. There's just so many little things. And again, this is just something that I picture of my, uh, I still have my grandmas around. Um, and this was in their home and I seen it every Christmas. I'd want to have that. So th that's where, again, that's where I'm at in life. There's, I just have those two picture frames. Um, and then I'll just do this one actual Christmas decor thing. Um, and just these cute, deep blue ornaments. They come with little gemstones that you apparently can put on there. I'm not going to be doing that. Um, these are glass ornaments. I didn't pay $3. I know I didn't pay $3. Um, but I've been watching a lot of this lady on YouTube. Uh, her name is Krista. I can link her channel below. But she's just been inspiring me so much. Uh, several of these things have been inspired by her. But she um, she has kind of a dark vibe to her home. Not really, I wouldn't say gothic, but it is darker. And she did this moody Christmas tree this year with dark ornaments. And I was like, I'm going to do that next year. So... I seen these and I thought that would go perfect in this in that dark tree that I'm picturing next year. Um, and then I found a movie. This movie, it's a popular movie. Um, I don't think I've ever watched it from beginning to end, and I'm always adding to my Christmas movie collection. Um, but it's Christmas with the Cranks. I know lots of people love this. Um, it's two dollars at the thrift store. Never been open. I'm definitely gonna watch this before Sunday, Christmas. Okay, and then I got three Christmas records, three vintage Christmas records. Now, I don't have a record player, but I know they're coming back, and you can buy them just about anywhere. And I've told my husband, I've been wanting one, and he was kind of like, why? <laughs> and now I have it. I have an excuse now. Um, but these I picked up, and they were a dollar a piece. Um, but they're, they're just Christmas. And even if I just sent them out to decorate with, which I may likely do, I have a, just a whole vision for next year. <laughs> Um, but this one is, 
Christmas hymns and carols. Um, look at this. It was at Kmart for a dollar fifty-seven. Okay. It says nineteen sixty-six. That's the year my mama was born. So I just love that. And this one, I can't. I just love it. It's just so cute. Uh, this is "Great Songs of Christmas" by Artists of Our Time. Um, I don't think this one had a date on it. Um, it says it was created exclusively for Goodyear. I don't know what that's about, but again, just Christmas. It's got Barbara Streisand. It's got all the classics, which is what I'm here for. And then one more, which is so cute. And this one was 99 cents at one time at Carmichael Enterprises. I'm not sure what that is. Um, but this is Organ and Chimes with Steve Davey. Look at the cover of that. How beautiful. Again, this one doesn't have a date or anything on it, but I don't really care. I just, I just loved it. Here's some of the songs, just your classic songs. So yeah, there was a whole lot more records at uh, the thrift store. I got these from Grace's Closet, if you know. And uh, I'm, I have my little girl with me and she gets a little red button. She's in there, she wants to play with all the things. So I can only spend so much time digging through the boxes. Uh, but I, we are going back tomorrow. Uh, she's going to go see Santa Claus. So I'm going to take another peek. And then along with that, they had a whole new shipment of books again. And again, this is another thing that was inspired by Krista. I think her channel is called The Maker Home. I'll link her below. But um, I've been watching her now. And she does a lot of decorating with vintage books. Again, she has this dark vibe when she decorates. Like her Halloween decor, her Christmas decor. It's all got kind of a darker, moody feel. Again, it's not gothic. I would not call it that. I call it moody. Love it. Very inspired by her. So with that, I picked up these these books. They're vintage books, but they are. I mostly picked them up for the color of them. Uh, they're you know red and green. Um, again, she uses vintage books in her decor, and I just love the way it looks. And I mean, it's, I think it's fun to have as well. These, I think, uh, some of them were. I got these at a couple different places. Some of them were like a quarter, a dollar. Um, they're from like the 1950s. I think they're so cool. So I'm going to tell you what they are, even though you probably can't pick them up. I, again, I picked them up for the cover. <laughs> but this one is Mistakes in Teaching from the 1950s. And this one is um, Simple Sermons and, on Salvation and Service. Cute. And this one, this one is actually, um, when I looked at it, it kind of looked like an interesting read. Um, it's called Three Doors to Death. Mm -hmm. um, and I had, to, I had to Google uh, the year of this one because it was um, published in Canada. And on this forward page here, the year is in Roman numerals and... You know, I know the basic few, first few, but this one was, it said MCML. I don't, I don't know what that is. I mean, I do now. It's 1950 now, but I just thought it was so neat. And again, it's something, I may actually read this one. Okay, and the next two, again, inspired by Krista. Uh, but these will, I'll break these out at Halloween because they're black in color. So, But they're pretty nifty. <laughs> again, like... It's just not something you think about, you know, buying. And if it was for the book itself, I would not purchase these. I, I purchased it for the cover, but having it is pretty neat. Like this one is called The Minister's Service Book. I don't know if you can read that. It's kind of imprinted on there. Um, and this is a book, I suppose, you know, ministers carried with them to do their uh, services, their sermons. Uh, like the first one is the marriage service and you can tell that this belonged to someone because they have wrote their little notes in it and they've put people's names and I just think that's just cool. I just think that's really cool. It'd be really cool to find who those people are and like give this to them. But I don't I don't know how to do all that kind of stuff but I just think that's a nice idea. Um and then this last one 
is just beautiful like absolutely stunning it's this one and if you can tell that is raised or yeah it's like raised and embossed floral print and even the side the way that it's wrote I don't know if you can tell um but it's favorite flowers in color and again this one was um from the 1950s I believe 1949 I don't know when they started printing in color I'm not down with all that but look at this just look how beautiful like so pretty this will be part of my Halloween decor but I think it's really neat to have and I'll probably find myself flipping through it and again tomorrow I'll be digging through the boxes some more okay and then one uh one last actual book and then I have a couple other things bookish um this I picked up from my baby girl and um just, she loves books anyway so this was fine this was perfect to add to her Christmas book collection but it's the sweet smell of Christmas and although they don't really smell anymore this book was from 1970 so you know it's, it's up there in age but it's got a cute little adorable story and then there are these pages throughout where once upon a time you could scratch and smell like there's an apple pie uh, obviously the pine tree um, look at this little orange in the stocking uh, I did go through and try to sniff all of them <laughs> the only one that has a scent left to it is the pine and you can smell like it smells like pine tree so I thought that's really really cute and neat and she'll just love that anyways okay and then these three again are book-ish um, so the first one I picked up is this Christmas postcard book, um, and it literally is just a book full of Christmas postcards that you can tear out and send. Now, what I thought about doing, um, and I may not get to this year again because we're days away from Christmas at this point, um, but I really want to do like a neighbor, neighbor gift and bake cookies with my little girl something I want a, a tradition with her so I really would like to bake cookies um, and package them nicely and then go deliver them to all our neighbors and I thought this would be a cute little card idea uh, also I know people take some like gift bags and just prints and frame them and make Christmas decor that way so you know either of those options this does I have a date on it but I feel like it's I feel like it's old <laughs> Although the paper isn't, it doesn't look colored or anything like that. So I'm comfortable giving it away. And the next two things, this one is so cute. It's Christmas with Southern Living, 1988. It's the year I was born. That's why I bought this. And it does, it, the, the name up here is Ruth. That's my baby girl's middle name. Um, and I call her that all the time. As a matter of fact, I was calling her that in the store today when she was being a little rambunctious. Um, that's her in trouble name. Um, so I just, when I seen that, I was like, yeah, I'm taking that home with me. But it's just, you know, vintage Christmas. Um, I'm going to use this and the next one as just, um, coffee table books to set out during Christmas. I will definitely be looking through these. I don't know if any of the decor will be applicable to me, but. You know, recipes, crafts, they're in there too. So I just think it would be so fun to sit out at Christmas. And if you have guests over, it would be just fun to reminisce on the past. Again, this one is Better Homes and Gardens, Christmas from the Heart. And this one, again, it says Ruth. It's hard to have it. <laughs> it just spoke to me. Uh, I can't remember what year this one was from. This one is from 1995. It doesn't seem like, again, I was born in 88, so 95 to me does not seem vintage or old in any type of way. Um, but I guess if you count the years up, you know, it's, it's a little bit back there. But this one, again, it has just some ways to decorate Christmas packages. And actually, the uh, store, if you live around here and you want something like this, she had all kinds of these, like, from every year. Uh, so many. But I really just liked this one and, of course, the one with my birth year on it. The next little thing, it's not 
necessarily Christmas or vintage, but I'm going to let my little girl wear it. It actually may be a little bit too big for her, uh, long-wise, but it was so cute, and I was like, it's perfect for Christmas, given that she can wear it. But it's just, it's got this jean jacket on the top with the skirt attached, and it is so sparkly, just red and gold, pretty long. She's only two, and I think this was a four or five. Okay, this is an extra small. So, it's going to be long on her, but... It's cute, and she's seen it, and she liked it, so we're going to wear it. Okay, and the next few pieces are, again, not necessarily Christmas, but they spark Christmas in my mind, so that's why I got them. Are these glasses? Now, they only had a set of three. Um, I know typically buy, typically you would buy things in sets of four. Uh, there's only three of us, and I can keep an eye out, and if I see another one, I'll pick it up. But there's just three of this us, and... I thought these would be so beautiful. I haven't washed them. Um, these would be so pretty for Christmas. Again, just something, the, one of those heirloom things that I keep thinking about. So pretty. It's like the cut glass. Um, I don't suspect it's real of any nature. Just cut glass. Really pretty. I got three of those. And this was another thing that was inspired by Krista. She does tablescapes on her channel. And she had some that looked nearly identical to this only a little bit larger more like a actual watering water cup um but i seen these and i thought it'd be so cute with some eggnog yes please last things are candlesticks um again <laughs> inspired uh, by krista and her tablescapes are just so pretty um but i've been picking up all of the candlesticks i can find that are are this type um so the first Actually, this is the last set that I just picked up. Are these two brass candlesticks? So pretty. They're kind of weighted too. They don't feel cheap or anything. Um, but I love them. They are smaller in the top, but I did grab my uh, candlesticks to check, and I think I, you have to like trim them down a little bit. They do fit in there, so really cute. I picked up this one, which is more of a tea light candle hold. I, um, I envision it as just a mixture of all of them, kind of sprinkled out with kind of melted candles in them, just giving an old ish feel. Um, these have not been cleaned up. <laughs> this one was a dollar. The other two were a dollar as well for the pair. And then this one was a dollar. Just a shorter candle holder. Really cute. I think this might actually be silver. Um, I've not cleaned it up. Uh, um, I don't know if I will. I kind of like that look to it. And then the very last one, which now that I've got it home with the other ones, I'm not sure how I feel about it. Maybe if I um, change the color of it, it might go better to like a, a brass or a tarnished gold. Um, it's this black one. And the candle holder is in there, so it will look like that. Um, and it is heavy as well, it's weighted, but I just think that um, the black doesn't really go with the other ones, and I kind of want to, I want them to not look the same, but kind of flow together. So I may uh, spray paint that or use rub and buff on it. That is going to do it for my Christmassy vintage haul. I do have some more things that I have thrifted. They just didn't kind of go with this vibe today. Um, so I'll do another video sharing them. I've got two large pieces that I would like to share uh, and show you guys. I love them. I can't wait to get them up on the wall. We just repainted um, in here and those two pieces are going to go in here, I think. <laughs> um, so I would share those with you and a few other bits and pieces. I love the thrift store. I think everybody does, especially nowadays with the prices of everything. Um, it's just fun to find unique pieces that not everybody can, can find. If you are from here, can you tell me um, other thrift stores? I know there used to be the one in Neon and down in Isom. I'm just not sure if they've reopened since the flood. Um, but if you know of any others, let me know. I'll go check them out. 
that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe and share.